Hello guys, in this new tutorial of Zamarin Farm, so today we're going to show you how um, to make a uh, chart and multi-line uh, chart in Zamarin Farms. Before that, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell for more videos. So let's begin by installing two um, Nougat package called Micro Charts and Micro Charts Forms. So you may uh, pay attention to um, to install the last release, not preview. So this is the expected result, a, a line chart. So let's move to the main page view model and let's begin by creating a bindable property called line chart, type of line chart. So let's set the property to the reference of the private line chart uh, attribute. Now we need also for the y axis uh, to define the list of mantas. For example, we're going to show how to make um, the chart represent the turnover, for example. So let's uh, define another private property called turnover data, and this will uh, represent each um, value, uh, the turnover of the mant. And let's define zero for the other mantas. We need also to define a skia color. Um, so it's property, it's class from skia sharp uh, assembly. So let's define it to the blue color. And after that, we need to define uh, init data method in which we're going to initialize the data of our chart. First of all, let's define a list of entry chart, of chart entry. And for each turnover data, uh, we're going to add uh, a new class in the list called chart entry. And let's this takes um, the value and the constructor parameter and after that we're going to define the color the label for example here represent and divide by 1000 for the value label and the label will be turnover after that we're going to define a line chart I'm going to assign the line chart to a new line chart uh, object, which takes the entries, the label size, the label orientation. And let's override the initialize a method in which we call init data. Let's now move to the XAML page and divide a grid with three rows of um, 300 pixels. And inside we're going to define the chart view from uh, microchart.forms uh, package. And let's bind the chart property to our line chart. And define some properties here like the height request, the vertical options to start, and the horizontal options to fill. Now let's run and see the result. So here we go. And this is the result. So here we have our line uh, chart with the different labels uh, divided by 1000. Cool. Now we're going to make something cool. How to make uh, a chart with multi lines. Um, so we need to define a new folder called helpers in which we're going to define a new class that will represent a chart with multiple uh, lines. So here we have the header, the legends, and the value label will be at the left in the Y axis. Cool. Let's create a new class called uh, multi lines chart implements or uh, extends the line chart um, class. So we need the first property uh, type of uh, enumerable of enumerable of 
chart entry. It's a list of lists because we have uh, more than uh, one line. Um, after that, we need to define the legend names. So every uh, line will represent by a legend. And some pro private property like initiated uh, the max, uh, the multi-line max and the multi-line uh, mean and the list of points to draw. So let's begin by creating the init method. So if it's initiated, we, we make return, else we assign initiated to true and for each um, list in the multi lines, we're gonna search uh, the max and the mean of these points in order to um, to uh, calculate uh, the different uh, position of points. So here, if the entry dot value uh, is greater than uh, multi line max, so we define this is the max of the list, and the same way, in the same way, so we're going to search um, the mean value in the list. After that, we're going to override the drug content which takes by default the canvas the width and the height of the chart so inside we're going to begin by initialize call by calling the init method after that we're going to assign the entry to um, the multi lines entries dot element at zero at the moment after that we're going to calculate um, our measures labels which will be uh, value label size and the footer height which will be calculate footer height uh, header height and the item size we need to calculate the item size so here by default uh, I put um, I put it a 100 for the headers of legend uh, will be uh, 100 pixels. No, for each list of entries in this uh, multi-lines entries uh, property, we're gonna uh, affect or assign uh, the entries to the current list. And here we're gonna calculate the point to draws. And we need to calculate this uh, points uh, uh, x and uh, y uh, coordinations. So we need to use calculate multi line points. Uh, we're going to define it later. So here um, we're going to put uh, this uh, temporary points in uh, the point uh, property list. After that, we're going to draw the line switch uh, the temp points and after that we're gonna draw the points so we have two types here the points and the lines and if we are in multi-line uh, multi-line multi entry dot index of uh, the current list is equal to zero so we need to draw the area so we need to draw the area for one of lines uh, else we're gonna uh, one of these lines will head will hide uh, the other um, line. Cool. And finally, we need to draw uh, legends. So we're going to create a new uh, method called draw legends that take the canvas width and height of the chart. So let's begin by defining the calculate multi line points. So here I prepare the code here. We're gonna, the concept is to um, calculate the X and uh, Y uh, coordination. And we're gonna return uh, an array of uh, skia sharp uh, point, points. And in the draw legends, it's the same thing. We're gonna search um, the Y and the X uh, property to draw. Uh, so we're gonna draw uh, points and the label of each point as I showed you in um, the expected result image. 
And finally, we need to um, define uh, tools for numbers in order to convert uh, the, uh, the amount to uh, something like 100 or 1K. Uh, and here in the main view page, we need to create a new property called multi-line chart in which uh, we'll define um, the multi-lines properties. And after that, we need to define an array of uh, charge data or expenses data. It will be, for example, one, uh, 10 percent of uh, the turnover. Cool. Mm, now we need to change this. Uh, turn over to uh, charters and don't forget to create a list of list of uh, charge entry here and we're going to add uh, the list of the turnover uh, data and the charge uh, entry. Finally, we're going to assign uh, this uh, multi-line chart to a new uh, multi-line chart and you're going to define the different properties here like the label, text size, uh, the multi-line entries have defined in the multi-lines uh, chart class. The orientation of levels and here we're going to define the alpha, the area alpha to zero and the point area alpha to zero. And I think we need to define uh, point area also to zero. And finally, we need to define the legend to, to show it in the chart. So here it will be a list of string the first one will be the turnover shot, and the second one will be the expenses or uh, charges, charges chart. Let's run and see. Oh yeah, I forgot to put the XAML code, so let's duplicate the code and put the second chart to the row number one and mind the chart property to a multi-lines chart. Uh, by the world properties and here we go so here we have our chart and don't forget to this chart is animated so if you don't like this so you need to define is animated to false and let's see that's cool here we have the expected result um, unless we we don't change the color to red here. So the two legends are, and the two lines are in the blue color. So we need to change um, the expenses to red color and let's run and see. Here we go. Oh, that's pretty awesome. So this worked correctly. That's all for this video. Thank you for the watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get the next video of MicroShots.